What is up, guys? We are back with another couple episodes of Going For It. Uh, you will see your first appearance of Mike Spillane in uh, this round of uh, some Going For It podcast. Uh, you'll also see a couple new segments I did with Craig. Uh, we called it Carry On Craig, where Craig kind of just gets on a soapbox and talks about whatever he wants, which is basically just the podcast, but uh, a little more a little more focused from Craig for a couple minutes. And In the Pocket, which is a breakdown of the QBs in that division that we talk about in the offseason, just kind of how we feel about them, rank them, a lot of top fives, all that good stuff. So we have even a little bit of draft talk. So that is what we got going on in going for it at this time. Uh, you guys can hope to see some more content more regularly from us. As you can see, I got my setup finally ready to go. I'm repping my New York Giants. All of this stuff was recorded pre-free agency and pr like right after the J.J. Watt signing. So we don't have anything super duper up to date, but I wanted to release it anyway so you guys could get our takes and see how we're feeling. Uh, that will be coming to a screen near you right now. So moving on into a, a topic that I'm sure you're motivated as all hell to talk about as okay. soon as we got to this on the outline. I, this is why I put it second. This is why I put it second because I, like I knew you were going to be excited. Deshaun Watson and Russell Wilson have both I know. allegedly I know. <clears throat> allegedly put out teams that they are willing to accept a trade to. Right. On both of those lists, the Miami Dolphins are present. Yeah. First of all, how does it's this make you feel? Well, conflicted, straight up conflicted, because the high highs off drafting Tua, I was very high on Tua. I still, I, well, I said it that way, so I got to own it. I was <laughs> high on Tua. That's the truth. I, it's, it's hard to remain high when these names are coming knocking. And I know that they're not yet. And it's sources and it's this and it's that. But the reality of the situations from my perspective of, of what I believe is I don't think Deshaun is going to play a game for the Houston Texans. I know it's going to cost him money. I don't think he's going to play. Russ is a little different. I don't know as much about that scenario, but it's sounding like he's also quite disgruntled. These guys don't move often. This top tier level talent, it just doesn't happen. It's like Brady in free agency. It's very rare that it happens. Peyton going to the Broncos. Like the, these, these moments don't happen. So if the, the sweetness of what could happen is so exciting that it's like to a who, but I, but that, that feels bad. That feels bad. And I'll be very <laughs> pleased when we don't get them, but he just does well. I, I, I can do that, but damn it. If I wouldn't immediately get that Jersey and buy those first year cards or whatever, I, <laughs> either of them, make us immediately a contender because that division is Buffalo's mind you, but right. we were, we were scrappy with very polarizing quarterback play, very decent defensive play. The ground game's getting there, but not really. We need help there hopefully in the draft, but the quarterback position hasn't <laughs> been a, a true strength in Miami for, you know, 20 years. So <laughs> if we could, that's just, I mean, and I like Tannehill, but, but come on, it's Dan Marino and then a big old drop off, right? You right. put a Russell Wilson or a Deshaun Watson. It's like that, that's, that's Noah, Noah's Ark. Let bring the people on, bring the people on, hit the staff down. We're coming. I'm, I might have to go to a game. I vowed never to go back. because It's so uncomfortable. The stadium's all concrete. It's very hot. I would probably have to go to a game. Yeah, to see Russ sling it around, I think I yeah, would have to come either, to either a game of them. too. Either of them. Well, yeah, Deshaun's also a super fun to watch. So <clears throat> I will just comment quickly on what you said about Russ, like knowing less about that situation. Diana Russini, ESPN reporter, came out and said Seattle is listening and taking calls on Russell Wilson. I read that. So this that. is they are not they are not shopping him, quote unquote, but they if people are calling, they're calling back. And they're like, okay, what about this? All right, what about... So they are doing what the Texans refuse to do, right. which is... Well, and I think that's foolish, but... Wield this asset correctly. If yes. you are unhappy here, there's nothing we can do to make you happy. If this relationship is soured, let's get Let, what we can for you while we can. Let's get something for it. Let's get something for it. I think that's smart. Does it have the unintended effect of really further alienating Russ? Yes, but... If you knew he was already displeased, then you're do they're doing the right thing. 
And the cool thing about a, a Russ or a Deshaun, if that phone ever opens up, is boy, it's all but about four teams would would at least go, huh? What? What? I could put a package together. Might be bad. Might be a stinky <laughs> package. But I could put something together if if he's on the if he's available. Yeah, if, he, if the, he's on the move. The availability changes the game, and both of them being potentially available is very interesting for the news cycle and very interesting for all all NFL fans. But as a Dolphin fan myself, I'm hopeful, but but cautiously optimistic. You know what I mean? Like I got to be super cautious because I again I'm I'm a stand by my man, which is Tua if. He is our starting quarterback. Now, if he is in a trade package and he is no longer wearing the teal, you know, go kick go kick rocks, man. I don't give a shit. Because <laughs> I'm with my dude. I'm with whoever's wearing the jersey. That's fair. So what would you be willing to move as part of this? Is Tua – you could – Tua, how many first-round picks are you willing yeah. to throw away to get Deshaun slash okay. Russ? Because it's going to be them, a similar package most Yeah, likely. it's the same, same package that I think I, – I think – the Dolphins would have to do Tua, the third pick, one of their second rounders, because they have two, and then probably next year's firsty, and maybe another secondy. It would have to probably be, because I don't, I would not want what is being talked about, which is three firsties. Mm-hmm. I would not want to give that, and that would hurt me. I would still be very pleased by the jersey and the cards, but I would be upset. But if we were able to get it for like two and two or two and one, in the two first well, rounds. So I second. think if you throw your two first, if you throw in a first this year, a first next year, two seconds, one this year, one next year, and Tua, that's technically three three first round picks. Tua went in the first round last year. Yes. I, I, I look at that as a comparable. Like I would this be, guy oh, was a first round pick quarterback. Now I know some other Dolphin fans would say, no, that's everything. You just gave them four picks. I, I we have picks. Picks is a currency we have. We've always been strong at acquiring them and misusing them. To me, this is a very strong usage of them. Instead of just acquiring more picks and taking more more uh, lottery tickets on new guys, you're getting a proven talent, you know? Right. And and I get it. People are like, well, what if they get injured? I've heard all of that. You, you can't base any decision off of that. You can't base a draft decision. Injured? That's what I mean. You, you can't do that. So looking at it as I almost don't care. The three firsts, like I said, I'd still buy the jersey and the card. I would still be excited if we got him at that price even, and I know that's the asking right now. It's been roaming around that right. that's what it would take, a player in three firsts to get it. Because was it, Stafford was um, two firsts two and firsts. what's his face? Right. The, yeah. Exactly. That <laughs> boy, have you just – him? not you, but him. But, yeah. like, people used to know your fucking name, bro. <laughs> and, and we just – we – don't anymore. <laughs> it's Jared Goff. He's real butthurt about how it went. And and I think that moment encapsulates why he should continue to be upset. <laughs> because he's <laughs> straight up been forgotten by both of us in real time. And we watch enough football and both play fantasy football to have known that. Yeah. I totally know who he like I if he was standing in front of me, I'd be like, oh, that guy's important. Could I remember his name in the moment? Probably not. Oh man. And Detroit, very exciting with their coaching move, but everything else is not exciting. Not. That's a downgrade, Stafford yeah. to, to Goff. Easily. And I want to be proven wrong just because I believe in people. So g- g- good luck, Goff, but I won't put you on even a third string of a fantasy team. Absolutely not. Absolutely no. not. No, so-, uh, so the Dolphins, in, in all of this, cut Kyle Van Noy yes. in the first year of a four-year <laughs> deal. Monies, available monies. Yes. So do you believe that this cap cut is for a bigger move that's coming? Do yeah. you expect to be big players in free agency? Do you think that this is maybe a Russ Deshaun, like, no. hey, we can get that we can get that money in, baby. I wish it was that. I wish. The dream would be it's that. I think it's more likely a running back. Uh there Aaron Jones is out there being talked about. There's a few wide receivers available being talked about. I, I want it to be the quarterback, trust me. I don't think I, I the cut was for money. I believe that I'm I'm all the way there on that because he was brought in because he's like he was coached by the coach or whatever in in right. New, in New England and everything. New England guy, yeah. Um, he was expensive, and I think they're freeing up money for free agents. Unfortunately, not Deshaun or Russ, but I I'd love to be proven wrong on that. I think it's going to be 
uh, more in the running back wide receiver space. 